What's going on YouTube? Minecraft Go here. Uh today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use um essentials uh and group manager which is bundled in essentials. Um a group manager is basically permissions just a little simpler and a little easier since it is bundled with essentials which I don't know, it just seems easier even though it's almost exactly the same. So if you go to the first link in the uh, in the description this one right here forms that bucket yada yada um you'll be brought into this page so we are just going to download you click this download and once you download it you'll be given this essentials now you're gonna you see all these and really we're only gonna be using two of them today you're gonna right click this you're gonna for this essentials dot jar you're gonna right click open with other and now from here you're gonna find your disk oh whatever that's called, system, library, core services, archive utility. Click open. Open. And now you have essentials folder. You can also do this just by simply running your server, but um, I can't do that since I I explained in my, I believe in my last video, that none no plugins will work for me. It's a long story about my Java version. Okay, now you're gonna find group manager right click open with other and now it, sh it it might be up here in recent places but if not just do all that again all right so now we have essentials and group manager the folders right here and here so if you go into essentials this is going to be the main one rename the plugin.yml to your world name so let's say my world name is 123 123 abc um i would rename it to 123 abc but we're going to re since my world actual world name is world, we're just gonna rename that to world. Same with the plugin.yml and the group manager. All right. So now we have the world. If we go into essentials and we double click config.yml, for Windows it'll be opened with Notepad or uh, yeah Notepad or something like that or Microsoft Word. But for Mac we're just gonna open it with TextEdit. And a lot of people have been having problems saying, oh, I just said to select a program. Right click, open with text edit. There you go. It's not that hard to figure out. So we're going to be focusing on uh, Essentials Protect. Now this is like, until you get world edit, I guess this makes an okay substitution. Only, But this one protects like minimal things. So if we... Okay, here it is. Um, for alert, like <clears throat> on placement, let's say I want when they place the door, I will do co oh, comma three two four no space. The ID for a door is three twenty four. Um, so it will alert when someone places a door. And on break, let's say they break glass twenty, it will alert me or an op or. I believe in admin. I'm not. I'm not extremely sh or really sure right now. So it, I think I don't know if it just alerts everyone or if it alerts an admin. I I don't know. So here. So there's that. Um. Now blacklist the placement. Let's say they can't place torches. Number fifty. And uh, they they can't use. Uh, they can't use doors. So they won't be able to use doors and they won't be able to place torches prevent people from breaking breaking these kind of blocks 2040 or 2050 which is glass torch and then redstone which is 331 i believe so oh you want to do down here sorry 2050 331 these are just options and if, if it's hash marked it won't um it's not going to actually like show up in your world so you have to do it on the ones that are unhashed marked so so it's gonna be that will still be like this. So here's a break, and I say they can't. They also can't break um dirt or yeah grass. They can't break glass, gra not glass, grass with the R. So that there, and that's the ID for that. Now here's um if you want to prevent lava flow, say so I don't want lava to flow, so I'll set that to true. Water flow. This is like ones that you'll find in dungeons or lakes. True. Water bucket flow. I usually keep that false because some people. Like it's yeah, uh, fire spread. You want to prevent that? Yes. Lava fire spread. Yes. Flint fire. This is another one probably because 
is easier to make flint and steel. <clears throat> Lightning fire spread, true. Poor creation. Now, if you want them to go into nether, if you don't want them to go into the nether, you would will, you would want to make this true. TNT explosion. That's another one you want to make true. Creeper explosion. Yes, because that will damage people. Creeper player damage. Eh, you can. That's what you whatever you want. But creeper block damage. That's like not. It's not like blocking the damage. It's like say I have a there's a creeper right by my one of my buildings, and if he explodes. Um, he'll destroy my building. So if you make this true, that won't happen. <coughs> that won't happen. Entity target. If you want monsters to like follow players, uh, if you d if you don't want monsters to follow players, to follow players, you'll set that to true. Prevent uh spawning of. So here's the, all this. This th this is prov um these are all the mobs that you can spawn using slash. Just type it out right here. Slash spawn mob. Let's say I want to spawn creeper. No. Uh, pig underscore zombie. Now, how, however many I want. So I want to spawn twenty. Um, if that's so, yeah, that's what you do to spawn. Now this is preventing. So none of these are prevented. If you want to prevent it, change that to true. Keep this. If you don't, just keep that neg negative one. Protect all signs. False. It doesn't really matter, but I keep mine on false. Usually keep mine on false, but that's what you want. Prevent users from destroying rails. I uh, I do that true. Uh, and now here's uh, the the kind of this is where you get all your damage. So just change that to however you want. And disable disable weather storm. I just hate all these because they get boring. True. Or not boring, but annoying. True. True. So you save that and you quit out. So now we're going to go to our uh, group manager. Sorry, I drew a blank. Config. Oops. Config. It's like you think it'll do config, but config. But this really does nothing. So you want to you want to go into the groups. Yml. Now. At first, this is gonna be seem confusing, so I'm gonna walk through every bit. Default, do you want what do you want them to start off with? So if you if you don't want to make them start off as like a default, say you make this false, but you have to have at one, and you can't have any more, any less, <coughs> as <coughs> uh, sorry, as you you only can have one exact as true. If you have zero, it's gonna screw up, and it's just gonna make it uh, default. So I set the the second class builder true. Said so they do something bad, and when they st start, I can just demote them with using. I'll show you here. Man, or this this is in uh, uh when you're talking like the chat box, like any other normal co commands. Man, demote their name to the rank. So let's say on a man demote Bob default or this, this is not case sensitive man promote Bob builder <laughs> uh, I didn't I did not plan that out I'm sorry that that's terrible um okay so enough with that so here are your nodes um these nodes will do commands like slash help this is what defaults can do, and if you say you have the world edit plugin, plugin four spaces dash space world, find the node. So let's say the world edit for a brush, a small brush. This is just made up. Is brush dot small. So they have access to using the small brush. Now, but if we do world edit dot brush dot star, that means they have access to all the world edit brush commands. But now, if we do dash world edit dot this uh, dot star that means they have access to all world edit and now if we do dash <coughs> now uh, what is that quote the single quote uh, star single quote that means they have, they have access to every single command available for every plugin so I'd give that that's probably an admin one um, inheritance what do they inherit? 
So say I want them to inherit. So delete all those. I want them to inherit uh, the Chuck Norris. Oh my God! I misspelled his name. Oh my God! I'm gonna die. Chuck Norris. So if I had a Chuck, oh my God, Chuck Norris group, they would inherit all the Chuck Norris, all the commands Chuck Norris has. The, not not the real Chuck Norris, the group. <laughs> all right, info under info prefix. Let's say I'll give them a prefix. If you do and one through nine, e through G, something like that. It'll give them colors. Um, let's say I want them to be default. So, so now, and I, if I do and F, and I believe and F is yellow, and E is white, and stuff like that. So now this will be this will show up before their name. Build if you want them to build. I usually set this to true because I'm not on a lot on my well if, when I'm not on and people join and they want to see and they can't build anything what's the point of being staying on the server <coughs> so I usually set that true and now for the suffix let's say I want them to have me say like M-E-S-A I don't know me say at the end you don't have to do these parentheses it's just kinda to signify where their um, where the name is like cause if I didn't have this uh, without the parentheses it'll say default their name without I don't think any spaces and I'll get confusing and this would without those would connect to their name or the last letter of the message so that would get confusing also and here is that so that's basically it for a group <coughs> uh, so here now is a uh, call it uh, the semi admins commands so they have all the group manager here's the builder now moderator and admin and notice admin has like the smallest amount that's because the star means he has everything or they have everything so now if you want to make a new group you do two spaces group name then four spaces or uh, colon four spaces Def default no caps or anything default true or false again no one can have one default four spaces Permission. Give them the uh, give them the permissions you want, the dash, space, and the permission node. Um, spaces. Four spaces. Sorry, four. Is it? Okay. One, two, three, four. Inheritance. Space and uh, colon. Enter. One, two, three, four. Dash and the name of the group that they inherit so I want them to inherit God the God group and the, the Jesus group yeah so they inherit they'll inherit every node for that group that they have now info colon enter six spaces prefix colon single quote single quote build colon true or false and then suffix colon quote quote and so now it say on them the prefix to be C N stands for Chuck Norris B A S T that means he uh, in the beginning he will have he will have a um, CN, and at the end of his message, you'll have, or their message, sorry if there's some girl Minecrafters out there, please let me know. No. Um, and make sure you spell everything right, or it's gonna not work correctly. And now at the end of their message, it'll be Beast. Now we save that, and close out. If we go into our server, again, mine's not gonna work, so I can't show you, and I just closed my other server. Um, yeah. So there goes that, and uh, there you have it. You, now you have your essentials, um, which is basically kind of like a blanket for all your plugins. It kind of brings them all together and it sorts them out. I guess I, I don't know, but there you have it. Uh, how to use essentials, group manager, w and again, group manager is like permissions. So don't install permissions when you have group manager. Um, so thank you for watching YouTube. Subscribe, rate, comment. Really don't care. Uh, thank you for watching.